because it's December. Welcome to my 90s hairstyle. I don't know what happened. You decide what my Christmas concept is. <laughs> you can tell me in the comments below. Here down or behind? Middle parting is a very difficult style, isn't it? Not in terms of getting it done, but just in terms of looking it. Hi guys! Welcome to my home tour video where you get to see things that didn't quite make it in the other videos and some finishing touches that I haven't spoken about or have done in the meantime. I just wanted to explain, started a new job and I've been quite busy and that's going to actually be on a regular basis now so my videos will not be able to happen as regularly. I don't know how exactly because I'm still going to be adjusting to a new schedule so we'll see it, I'll play it by ear but just heads up, you know, uh, if any of you out there are wondering whatever happened, it's just, I get busy now. So that's the news around me. The snow is falling down, I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. That house, the house. I built a few years back. That house was a centerpiece a few years in a row before my tree came in. It's gone, it's gone through some development phases. It started off as a very sort of just made and didn't have the time to finish it look. And then it had its goth phase and that kind of transitioned into Halloween. So from Christmas I went to Halloween and then Christmas again. And that's exactly what I really wanted it to be. I, I was going for like a Dickensian house look and it's turned up very nicely. It was a very fun extended project <laughs> through the years. We're, we're planning a, a, a brother, sister, <laughs> eventually. I recently acquired a blender and so you know that box is gonna get used. I actually also built myself a little, little street lantern which was a very unappealing process, so that's why I didn't, didn't make it in the videos, basically, because I myself wasn't sure if it was going to turn out at all. It's not a very refined looking lantern up close, but uh, it's bringing a little charm for the surroundings of the house, so I kind of, it's fine. I'm not going to explain the process of building it, because I'm sure some of you will be like, there's a much easier way to do that. And the branch or I should say the tree, it's a, it's a branch that plays the role of a tree. Situated in the backyard and it's giving out more personality to the little corner. The little carousel uh, was a present to myself a few years back, but it's got a chip end. It, it was broken. And it was half price, so and it's motorized and it's got some music and lights. I should say that when I was buying this, I was planning on actually recreating the rest of the chop bit, giving it, you know, like a wooden leg. <laughs> I know it's handicapped, but you know what I love it as is, and it's fine. It's it's, it's beautiful, just as is. So this is the thing. So if you're one of those people who wonders how so many can change their color and concept scheme of their Christmas decorations every year. The trick is to buy Christmas decorations on sales after the holidays. You have to hunt for those or you just have to be vigilant and remember to go and shop for those before they run out. And um, that's how you build up on it. It doesn't have to hit you in the pocket. I either create my own or I buy them on sale. Time. I did move the reindeer with the sleigh under the tree and brought the polar bears here. They seem more at home. And I cut out some foam board, icy looking hills. The rest 
rest of the area is just crunched up paper that I've covered the lights with. I wanted to create a, light, a lighting effect, but I didn't want the lights to be visible. And what I did for the very top of the window frame was just some icicles that I made of paper. They're perfectly nice looking icicles. They don't look one bit intimidating with their sharp ends. But the, the visuals were much better in my head than they actually turned out to be. Because it kind of sort of does look like a cave with teeth. The next year will uh, make it a little less um, threatening. But also the sleigh did undergo a little bit of a cosmetic work. I decided to paint the runners red. Uh, it's more fun and whimsy that way. That sleigh is gonna go through some phases as well. I can guarantee that by next year it's going to be more embellished and more itself. Now that's that's what happens with my projects. Like I don't rush them. I just give them the time and space to develop. By the way, if you want to see me making the sleigh, I'll link the video below or up here somewhere. And the table that is right next to on the other side of the tree, I've uh, considered the little book section and the candelabra with the bust. They are enough for that space. I have to say, I know my wallpapers are an eyesore. Although to be fair, somehow <laughs> the artist who did design them uh, must have had a premonition about my proclivities to Dickens houses or just very English, Irish looking houses. It's just one of those situations where you're like, how did that happen? <laughs> Can't do anything about it. That's what the apartment came with. Please ignore it. my videos and liking and subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you for the comments and for the support. You've been great. And I wanted to wish everybody a happy Christmas and a happy new year. I know that a lot of us are probably not going to be able to spend it with our families, but thankfully there's technology and you know we can take advantage of that, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing and well probably gonna be working during that time but you know, for the rest of the time, I'm, I'm probably going to be spending it with my parents on Skype, so that's really what we can do and be grateful for that. Enjoy the holidays, find happiness in small things, and try and live now. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and until next time, slash year. Bye.